Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be talking about the top free video editors. There's gonna be one that's not free, but I really recommend for, especially this audience that is probably watching this video. If you didn't know, today marks the day that YouTube has removed their video editor that was in your YouTube dashboard. So I think this video is perfect for anybody who's, you know, searching it up, you know, you know, for an alternative or something cheap or something that has the same features and is, you know, same simplicity of that editor. And also around this time, a lot of students, a lot of people, you know, at the beginning of the school year, around fall, around winter, just want to start a YouTube channel and they don't know what to edit on and all that sort of stuff. So today I'm going to kind of help you guys. I'm going to put all my playlists about video editing, about like different video editing programs in the description. Some of them have, you know, paid uh, video editing software tutorials like Premiere Pro, uh, Vegas Pro, stuff like that. But that is not what I'm mentioning today. Today I'm talking about strictly free and cheap ones. And at the end of the video, if you want to watch more video editing tutorials, I'll have a playlist at the end screen so you guys can click on it and check out any more playlists and stuff like that. The video editing softwares I am talking about today are ones that I've used and ones that I've made tutorials on in the past. I know there's a couple things about the video editor that YouTube had that a lot of people liked. First of all, it was web-based, so they didn't have to download a program. They didn't have to have, you know, a very, very good PC or laptop. It didn't, you know, require that much power, right? And you didn't have to download anything. People are afraid of paying for stuff as well. And as you know, it was free. Another thing is it was very cheap. There was like royalty-free music. There was like overlays, effects, and text. It's just very simple to use. And so I, I try to find, I found like two video editors that were very similar to it. And then the other two or three are kind of ones that are kind of better than them, a little bit more complex, but I think it's ones that you should consider uh, if you want to get into video editing and all that sorts of stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, and yeah, hit the thumbs up button. Let's go. So the first one I chose was panzoid.com. They have a video editor and they have an intro maker and a graphics maker where you can make YouTube thumbnails, avatars, banners, and all that sort of stuff. I thought I mentioned this in the beginning of the video because I want to really give a direct answer. This is probably the most similar video editor you can get to the YouTube video editor. It's web-based, it's free, there's no limitations, no watermarks or any of that sort of stuff. There's default music, default text, and some of the basic things you need it isn't as you know well designed as you know the youtube video editor but it does have the same functionality and also the video editor is just in beta so there are going to be updates in the future that will make this much better and i can tell you for sure that panzoid's second version of their software is always better than the first if you compare the intro maker that they had with the version 2 of it the version 2 is like 100 percent better than the version 1 so I can expect the same thing for the Panzoid Video Editor Alpha. So for the next video editor, we have something called WeVideo.com, similar to Panzoid. It's also web-based, so you can access it from anywhere. I know that's a main reason why people liked the YouTube Video Editor, was because it was very convenient. I personally believe that WeVideo is much better and much you know better looking than Panzoid.com, but the thing is, it does have its limitations. If you're going for the free plan, and I'm sure most of you will, your videos cannot be higher than the quality of 720p. Most videos on YouTube are in 1080p, but to be honest, the difference isn't that much. But if you do really care about the quality of your work, then this probably isn't for you. Also, there is a limitation to how long your video is. I think the limit is five minutes. You can obviously upgrade and there are plans, but honestly, if you are paying monthly, I'd rather just get a video editor and pay once. I really recommend this to anybody who really makes concise videos and doesn't really care too much about quality and just wants to get out you know, their videos so that people can see them. If your videos are short and 720 is fine for you, this is really the video editor for you because it's very easy to use, much easier than Panzoid, and it's really user friendly. The third video editor we have here is not a website and also the fourth one isn't as well. So we're heading into kind of the major leagues or the bigger leagues, you know. So this one is called DaVinci Resolve and it's notably known for color grading and color correcting videos. There are a lot of tutorials on this, so that's the really good thing about this. There's a lot of tutorials on the software, so if you have any questions or anything you wanna learn, there will be a video on it. It's available for Mac and Windows, so that's a good thing. 
So for the fourth video editor, this is the video editor that I always talk about. If anybody ever asks me what the best free video editor is, this is my answer. It is Hit Film Express 2017. They just came out with a new version. They do have a paid version of the software called Hit Film Pro. But to be honest, Hit Film Express is more than enough for any video editor. To me, it is very similar to a paid program that you might have heard called Adobe Premiere Pro. It's basically a miniature version and it has all the same functionality, all the same plugins and all that sort of stuff, but it's free. And if you guys didn't know, I use Adobe Premiere Pro for all my videos. And if I wasn't using Adobe Premiere Pro and I didn't have the money for it, I'd definitely go for something like HitFilm Express 2017. They also have a lot of tutorials on YouTube. And one of the main reasons I like it is its ease of use. The layout of the whole video editor is very easy to understand. And overall, it's just the perfect video editor you can get for free. The only downside, however, and a reason why a lot of people can't use it is it has specific requirements usually higher end pcs and that sort of stuff sometimes if you do meet the requirements like your pc meets the requirements like you have enough ram and that sort of stuff that like you know good enough specs sometimes it'll freeze on you i have a lot of friends who have used this and it froze their computer and then they have to restart or like the program freezes or crashes so if you are looking for a free editor and have a decent to high end pc or device then this is for you. Otherwise, you probably can't run this on a you know a cheaper, an older laptop or PC. So the last and fifth video editing software I could recommend is Filmora. There's a couple of reasons why Filmora is great. It's probably the only video editing software that I can really recommend you to buy. Usually I'm very careful about what I recommend people to buy because I don't want them to waste their money obviously, but Filmora is something that I can definitely recommend. There's this whole community around it. Their support team is great. They have bunch of presets and packs and lower thirds and animations and they just have everything available to you they have a built-in screen recorder and they have online downloadable packs and stuff like that and i just really recommend it to you if you have you know some sort of content that revolves around lifestyle gaming beauty beauty definitely i see a lot of beauty channels use this and it just makes their videos look very good because they have these you know effects and these overlays like light leaks you know like colorful stuff and even gaming videos, they have a bunch of packs. They have a gaming 8-bit gaming pack that I mentioned in a previous video where they have a bunch of overlays for gaming videos. It's very easy to use. It looks very nice. It's very modern. And for its price, which is not expensive at all comparing it to you know other editors like Vegas Pro, which is like $800, to Premiere Pro, which you have to pay $40 a month for, it is definitely cheap because you pay once and you get it. So yeah, that's the end of the video. And these are really five ones that I could recommend, ones that I've used in the past. There are a couple of others, but I haven't heard great things from them or I haven't used them to the extent that would let me recommend them to you. I tried my best to find video editors that would meet the criteria of people who are looking for video editors that are easy to use and are coming from the YouTube video editor. It would really mean a lot if you could share this video to anybody who is also looking for a video editor. If you have a friend, show them this video. That would mean a lot. I'll leave all my playlists in the description. If you have any questions about any software, I have Filmora tutorials, I have Panzo tutorials. And yeah, if you could like this video, that'd be great. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.